run plate analyzer go to options click on authorized personnel only open and then find the files you want to convert so here are your here are your three files from the Acuri system and I'm going to combine all three and open them up as a 96 wall plate so I click OK and now you see that uh, each of those three files is opened and if I then come over here I will see that all of the files have opened and it has converted them and I can now determine what whether to set a noise gate or not so if I go here you'll see that we have the forward scatter by side scatter or if you wish to look at anything else you can and in this point you can make a choice of setting a gate if you do you would click new gate and perhaps this are the real cells and we now create that gate once you've created that gate and you've told this that you need a 96 wall plate now you set the direction of flow it's left to right or serpentine up and down or serpentine up and down and that will change the numbers of these files as you can see here so we know this is left to right so there is our setup and going along here it appears we have the right numbers of wells up to H12 this is the residual at the end the, the blanks in the middle and the, the residual at the beginning once we're happy with that we go uh, OK and you see the files now being formed and now they'll be populated into plate analyzer so all of the files that were in the Acuri data set are now formed back into a standard plate analyzer format and there are all the data sets here are the cells and these cells represent the gated population we we did a noise gate in order to change the threshold on here you move this marker here and as long as you move it above the noise level which you can see here you can check that through here then it will then create the appropriate gates as you can see and if you decide that you want to create two gates then what you would do is perhaps here you would reduce the size of that one and then you would create a new gate put it here like this and this would give you uh, another gate so that would be a way of creating a gate or in the exact same way if you wanted to get rid of a gate you would click on that gate and that gate would disappear and then of course go back to this original gate and by identifying the size of your data set you will now number the files uh, accordingly the next thing that you can do is change the zoom if you click on the zoom here we can bring all of the 8 by 12 you can also change the filter and we'll reduce this back to 1 which means there's no filter and that that is basically the raw data that it's collecting as you can see there and if we we apply the filter back to the uh, 13 which was uh, its default with this data set then you can see that uh, we have a fairly clean looking data set